What's going on today, everybody? It's Robin here. So thanks for joining me. It's Starman Tarot Card Day for divine daily divine message reading. So, I mean, this book is huge and it has masses of guidance related to the cards. I've got the Princess of Cups here. So I'm just going to pick out some snippets of the guidance. So this says the attributes are being sensitive and creative open to psychic transmissions, which is really cool. Um, a, having a unique perspective, um, being a dreamer. So a gentle, delicate being, the Princess of Cups is finely tuned to the water, watery world of emotions. And I don't know about you, but I really value that in people. I like people that are sensitive and they're in touch with who they are, um, not so um, jaded, so Perhaps naively, she wants to believe that utopia is possible, a world that is abundant with love, light, and peace. When she discovers the world can be a dark and deadly realm, the shock reverberates deeply into the core of her being until it's almost unbearable. I actually think that's that's why there's so many, um, you know, like aberrant behaviors, um, people being addicted to things and being violent because they just can't cope with what's going on around them. You can let me know your comments down below. Um, and what this card means to you, um, how can human beings commit such acts of negligence, hatred, and terror? How can they embody so much anger and ill will? That's exactly what I was talking about. It's like really shocking. And if you're an empath like me, you can find that very, very difficult to go out in public and be around people. You can probably sense somebody's um, like core before you even see them. So uh, I know some people have a really hard time going out in public, like attending events, especially if you know that somebody is going to be there that they're just vibrating at a at an energy that's so low. It's such, such a conflict for who you are and, and you start to feel sick. So you could be the Princess of Cups. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna skip right ahead to this. And when we allow the hurts and challenges of life to make us a more inspiring, loving and beautiful human being, we are walking the most miraculous path. This is the alchemical game of transforming our burdens, the ball and chain of life we carry into radiant possibilities, to move through life with grace, to not allow ourselves to be soured by sadness or be held in the withering grasp of regret is a constant practice and one worth fully taking on. This card invites you to consider how a, com how a complaint when looked at from a different creative angle, is transformed into a rich form of guidance. This is a mind-blowing card to me. Um, it could be really particularly resonant to people who have taken really difficult experiences. And you know what, guys? There's not too many people I talk to that say, oh yeah, everything was perfect for me growing up, you know? I know a lot of people that had really, really challenging lifestyles and you know, maybe you went through some dark periods where they were not exactly an exemplary citizen, but took all of that and turned it into something else. Um, that's what I did with my life. Things were not easy for me. Um, I did a lot of stupid stuff, you know. Um, I went through a period of addiction myself and I was able to turn that around and look at it and know that now where I am now, is because I went through every single one of those things. And it just, this card just, if you're drawn here, you probably have a higher mission. Um, your your soul is bringing you here to maybe ignite you into, you know, and your job and your soul mission can be two completely different things, you guys. Um, if it matches up, that's amazing. You're very blessed. But you could be having an awakening, you could have come out of your dark night of the soul where you've just recognized that you're here to do more than, you know, low level vibrational things, which is a long list, so I'm not gonna get into it. But guys, I think this is a really illuminating card and I hope you found it interesting. Let me know in your comments down below again. So thanks for tuning in and remember to like, share and subscribe guys and I'll see you back next time. Bye, take care.